with Labas and uh, this is another episode of uh, my monthly update. My name is Rigita and uh, I'd like to, to show you what I've done in the month of November. So as you see we have a Christmas tree up. It hasn't been fully decorated yet. We just set it up so I'm waiting for kids to come home from school so we can decorate. We're getting ready for Christmas and the weather outside is showing it. Um, so quickly, if you're interested in my life happenings, if not, you can forward uh, to the whips uh, until I show you. So what's happened in the month of November? I participated in two full weekends of uh, high school craft shows that are pretty big in our area and uh, did fairly well. Um, have shopped myself there when I could and uh, there's only handmade items are allowed. There's no like a pamper chip or anything that you can buy, you know, already made uh, from man manufacturing companies. So that was good. It's You knew it's all at least 50% had to be handmade um, stuff for each item and they were checking it all and uh, people were in the Christmas spirit and the weather outside today suddenly dropped before we had like up to 15 degrees Celsius and then suddenly dropped to like 5 and it's gonna go down a bit so the winter is coming right? Um, so I sent one of my um, sons into the trip to Gettysburg historical site. They spent several days there uh, in the surrounding areas and he loved it. He was showing all those pictures and in the battle areas and um, so even they stopped by the place where one of 9-11 planes uh, crash landed um, like in the field area. So he was very happy to go there. Then, uh, of course, scouts did uh, food collecting uh, for two weekends. They dropped off bags and then collected uh, items uh, for, um, I guess, like a pantry houses and uh, to help feed um, in the soup kitchens. And a uh, big item happened in just the past week, actually. We were getting our windows all replaced. They still had some three windows that uh, they had the wrong size made for us, but the rest of it is done. And in the back, we changed with there are no grills, those little things that used to be. Um, but we had to keep that in the front of the house to match the rest of the subdivision. But uh, I love those picture windows. Even kids, you know, just were sitting in front of it and enjoying the view of the fields and, uh, and uh, birds flying and things like that. So that was good. Previous windows were leaking badly and we had fairly good storm uh, like yesterday. So we tested it out and it was no wind howling through it, no rain coming through. So I'm so happy. We're so happy about that. So yeah, we're still waiting for those couple of windows to be installed. Um, what else? So with Christmas happening, coming up, um, my husband had a work a Christmas party with uh, more formal attire to wear. And um, so yeah, we had a nice dinner there and uh, did some um, photo booth pictures uh, that they had uh, rented for that evening and it was it was fun you know and to get out of the house just like a date you know it, it's good time after time with the couples especially with this hectic holiday season when you have to come up with a wish list and exchange them with the rest of the family and uh, start shopping for it of course with the Thanksgiving um, and the Black Friday we didn't stick our nose out of the house for Black Friday and only like next day after we decided to venture out. And uh, yeah, we were not that desperate to fight and as they call it, Black Eye Friday. So we did a little shopping before and then online. And it's much less stressful. For Thanksgiving, we were supposed to go to my husband's sister's house but apparently um, in that area there is a whipping cough going on and uh, we were afraid to be exposed, especially with uh, 
I was taking um, some medicine which made my system um, more vulnerable at that time and uh, so we decided not to risk it and stay home. So it was impromptu, quickly running around and two days before looking for a turkey in the store and we invited a friend and her mom um, for Thanksgiving to celebrate with us and uh, we had a very nice time, you know, and uh, kids helped out uh, with uh, frying the turkey and doing a big load of, uh, what was it, garlic mashed potatoes and all other stuff, stuff you know, that goes with Thanksgiving. So we had quiet you know, no rest of the family kind of thing, but with the friends. So that's that's what Thanksgiving is for, right? To be thankful for somebody to have around in your life. And uh, that was pretty much it. We just had um, one evening with uh, younger kids, gingerbread house building in the school, where you just buy uh, sort of like a kit where they give you crackers and um, and the icing with the board, and we're, they were building all by themselves um, gingerbread houses, and we brought it home. So, yeah. So that was my life happenings. Now, I know the Black Friday, there was all kinds of stitchy stuff being on sale and grabbing. I tried really hard not to do lots of shopping, but uh, I did a tiny bit, and um, so I'll show you later what I got. So let's start my uh, whips and starts with this Mereshka Vintage Roses kit. I did the separate video opening with this beautiful design. So you can have it this way or that way. And you see all the colors. So I did, uh, I start this in the end of October and I worked uh, several hours only in November. So this is what I have done so far. If you want to compare, it's this flower and that flower. I'll bring it closer to you to show. So as you can see, I already started um, white um, backstitch doing to do that, but not the other colors right here. You see it's going to be a little bit more and around the leaves. I haven't done a lot of leaves, just a little bit in here and here. You can see the green stuff. So yeah, so that was Mereshka Vintage Roses. Okay, next I worked on a new, for me, um, uh, thing, <laughs> new pattern. And I'll just show you the whole thing. Ta -ta -ta -ta. on the omanic uh, stand um, the frame I'm sorry not the stand the frame on the manic factory I received so this is dragon kin by Ann Stokes and uh, have a design I fell in love with it and uh, as you can see though I have a couple of dragon um, my, um, needle miners uh, with me so I've done uh, color Oh, I can't even talk today. <laughs> I've done a uh, color uh, codes in, as the one page. And uh, this is stitched on 32 count uh, Ivory Lagana, 2 over 1 tent. And um, let's see if I can bring closer to you. That's what I've done so far. Uh, and that would be just like this corner. So there's a lot of work to do. I've tested um, a little bit in the corner here, like two over one and one over one, and I thought one over one from far away might look okay, but uh, two is better. So that's only what I've done here, so which is a little bit there. And it's about the half page that I've done, half page. So there's another half in here. And I uh, have, I've done um, sort of mis mix of um, country cross traveling and uh, parking a little bit. So that was another thing. Then I grabbed, um, whoa, sorry, linen and threads that I've been working. 
and oh my goodness. Okay, sorry about the form. So this is my linen and threads um, free thing by um, Mr. Sampler. Uh, and uh, I've done April. So each month, if I finish uh, one month, I consider it as uh, like a finish. So that was a border. And I'm getting ready for uh, May, and I haven't decided fully how I want it to be done. But uh, that's what it looks so far. I'm doing uh, this um, over one, and I think it's 32 count or something like that, or 28, I can't remember. But that's what I've done so far. So that was my finish uh, in November, Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler. Then I worked and I finished pattern that I bought from um, the line stitch car. It's those birds and um, branches. And I still haven't figured out what those branches are called. I already seen in some neighbors having them budded in December, right? It's scary. So I'll show you what I've done last time. And uh, so which was just one bird and kind of with the branches and left another bird. And ta -da -da -da, I'm finished with it. So as you can see, the second bird is done. I finished this little branch part and I backstitch it all. And there are like um, two different blue colors, backstitch, black and white. And for the eyes, I used the French knots. So it's fully done. And I was doing this on 32 count antique one. Might have been MCG textiles, I'm not sure. But I think I spent about 26 total hours working on this little bitty thingy. Sorry, technical difficulties. It was been saving in my phone. So as I was saying, I finished this in about 26 total hours of work. And then I started and finished my free thing, which is by Joyful World, November month. And I used some uh, different uh, threads than it was uh, suggested, but da -da -da -dum, it's done. So I have only December left and I'm going to be starting um, possibly tomorrow. So this is stitched on 36 count vintage country mocha um, and I'm going over to, so this is November month. And uh, one more thing I was, was it one more thing I was working on? No, I think that's it. Oh no, that I have one more thing for you. So I worked and actually I just stopped uh, working today. <laughs> it's uh, Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia, which I started at uh, end of last month. And um, I've been using uh, 28 count fabric by Georg, Georg, and I'll try to show you how much I've done. So kind of it's in a well. So I'm doing skin over one, and uh, it's a 10 stitch. So can you tell that it's a 10 stitch? Probably not. I'm not doing cross full cross stitch. I'm doing two over one. And it's working so this is how much it's finished so far so I think I've been working very hard trying to get this as much as possible done and uh, as you can see it's still on my frame so going down uh, I haven't done any beading so I left the spaces for beading and then when I finish the bottom I'm gonna start beading and rolling up and then going up and up and up but um, I love the fabric. It's um, printed on one side. As you can see, it's just uh, like a white on this side. And there's my back. So, yeah. So that's the last, last thing that I've been working on. And um, I want to show you one more thing. Uh, just one thing from what I bought. And I ordered uh, as a Black Friday sale from Aliexpress 
and it's these little orga thread organizers. This one um, has only 30, but sometimes you don't need a whole 50, like a packo. Um, you know, so it's just a little thing that pushed in, in here, and they include uh, four double sided cards. So this is thread organizer, not a needle organizer. And you know, it's done like this. So um, I got a group of three, which was a little bit more discount. So total it cost me like seven and a half dollars per each, including all the shipping. And it arrived within a couple of weeks. So, so yeah, that was one of the purchases that I did on Black Friday. Rest of it, I just already put away. I did some thread sale to fill up and uh, so that's it for today, for this uh, November month. And I think I'm very happy what I've done. I was like, like daredevil, just doing stitching, 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 didn't want to sleep. And uh, just wanted to stitch, stitch, stitch. So that's it. And uh, I'll talk to you next month. And we'll see how it goes then. Until then, this was your Gita, and I'm saying bye and keep stitching what you like and be nice to each other. Till later. Bye bye.